I'm fascinated by money, aren't you? Yeah, I'm fascinated by money, uh, what it can do, that's all. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, what I was going to ask you is this. How much do you make? I think that's very impertinent. How much do I make? Tours? I don't know. Concerts? I don't know. Publishing? I don't know. Oh, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> so what's the point? So what's the point? What is the point? La 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 la. What is the point? What is the point of the whole thing? What the hell are we talking about here? Fucking. Ooh, we gotta talk about the latest dust up, latest developments. Breaking news, breaking news. Or is it? Let's find out. So, um, last night, um, Nathan at uh, Lift of Vale put out some. Very interesting stuff. Link down below, a must watch on the uh, Jenny Moore murder mystery. Exposing the players for who they are or who they are not. Very, 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 very important. Very important. Very important stuff. Pay attention. So, let me read a story. I want to read a story. Ah, childhood story here on Labor Day. Once upon a time, George Webb was a YouTube celebrity. George is friends with Jenny Moore, who's also aspiring to be a YouTube celebrity. Jenny finds out very bad things about Bill Clinton. Very bad things that can put Bill in prison for life. George and Jenny talk about this. George passes Jenny to Jason Goodman who talks about it too. Jenny's friend Thomas Paine talks about it. Everybody's talking about Bill Clinton. They pass Jenny around like a joint. Everybody is talking about Bill Clinton, the guy who raped the boy. Then Robin Gritz makes friends with George and Jason and Thomas. Robin is an expert, they say. They turn Robin into a rock star. She's the new celebrity, the new face. George and Jason tell everyone how wonderful Robin is. Their ratings soar. Then Jenny dies. A murder. Natural causes. Everyone is so sad. Everyone cries real tears except for Robin. She's a professional. Nobody sees Jenny's body. Nobody sees a police report or an autopsy or the toxicology. Jenny, Jenny they say, passed away from natural causes. Hold on a second. Then George finds out Robin is not who she says she is. George is shocked, beside himself, goes dumbfounded, silent. George is shocked and Jason and Thomas are silent. So that's where we are right now, right? That's where we are right now. I gotta move when people, people push into my space. Fuck, they can't think. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. So I'm just wait for the energy to kick in before I talk. So there's this this is insane story, right? Insane story, right? Who did it? It's a who done it. So Robin Gritz, it turns out, if you watch Jace, uh, if you watch Lift the Veil in the clip down below, it turns out Robin Gritz is not who she says she is. Double agent, right? Working both sides of the coin both sides of the spectrum, right? She allegedly worked, I, I watch Nathan's report, I don't, I don't do details, I do big picture. But it does seem that Robin was, was somebody who she, is, is not who she says she was, but it was in fact involved in a conspiratorial think tank that develops 
stories to manipulate you and I into thinking things that thinking things are true when they're not true and think, thinking things are not true when they are true but that sort of thing CIA shit right Bob and Grits involved right so what do we have we still believe we have a dead body Jenny Moore dead yeah yeah uh, uh, police report police are reporting it police involved in a deep conspiracy to hide the body of and the story of Jenny Moore I don't know about that I don't know about that yet but let's just say there's a body and Jenny Moore is dead but Robin Gritz see I want to say I want to say this okay so let's just talk about the murder for a second the the actual cause of death now what we know is that is that Jenny Moore had some sort of back problem. She had rods in her back, right? And she was prescribed some sort of medications to soothe her pain. Fentanyl patch, right? Motive, right? Let's just let's just explore the facts, right? Cause of death will be fentanyl. Trust me, I said it. I said it first. I said it two weeks ago when I heard it. Right? Fentanyl again. Ah, fentanyl for those. For the people who understand that, that's the knockout pill. <laughs> that's the that's the drug they they give you when you're they get they, they put you in the hospital and tell you count count backwards from five and by the time you get to three you're unconscious. When it's when it's used correctly, that's it's used in surgeries to knock people unconscious. A little too much and it kills you. You can mix it into patches too, and put it on your body to relieve your pain over time. Now, on a 90-degree day in Washington, one patch would, ex would begin to absorb very quickly, causing you to feel a little sick. I'm feeling a little sick because my fentanyl is, 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 is sinking in too deeply and too quickly. Right? Two would kill me. Oops. Ooh, did I put on my patch and I put on another patch and I'm dead. Accidental suicide, right? That's how that happens. Very easy to slap a patch on somebody. Oh, so easy, especially if you're all friends. Very close. So is George, let's talk about George. George Webb, is George Webb, when you watch Nathan's video, you realize just how, how gullible George is. George takes the bait. Is he the, the brilliant mastermind? The brilliant YouTube mastermind? Or is he an entertainer that, that is in too deep? Right? Because when you have a hot story like that, it goes, it, it transcends entertainment. It's real fucking life that you're framing, you're, you're painting a picture of an ex president who rapes boys. Now, whether that's true or not is not the point. But the point is, that is the story. There is a boy. Is there? But is George Webb the mastermind that we think he is? That he's capable of crafting these incredible scenarios and that ultimately lead to him creating the murdering someone for his own gain? I don't know. But is it possible that George is used like a was used like laid down like a rug and was used? People wiping his feet on him. I don't know, man. I don't know. The other day I heard this is what I only heard this. This is not I don't know this for true, but I heard that that when when George Webb found out that Imran Awan was being interviewed about two hours before that interview, George was so happy. He was so happy. He was so beside himself. Oh my God, it's fucking Imran. Imran is coming out of Dr. Kati. Oh my God. And then, <laughs> I gotta give that guy, that character uh, a name. <laughs> but, so George is so excited and, and all his theories start to kick in. 
his brilliant mind focuses. Woo! And the stories come flying out of his fucking mouth. Conti, he's he's a he's he's SEIU. He was planted inside of the Department of Sanitation to 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 stop the ticket quota. <laughs> he's friends with the Mercers, the, the wealthy Mercers in New York City. He's he's a he's a double agent, he's a spy. <laughs> Because who else could get close to Imran Awan? How did he get close to Imran Awan? I think it's only going to be a 15 minute interview. But if you're just joining us, there's a 15 minute uh, Imran Awan interview coming up at 2 30. Marcus Conte is going to do that. I don't know. Uh, but is it tied to the Mercer that was working with uh, Mercer Investments that was working with Steve Bannon? I don't know. Um, it seems like he has some kind of connections at the state. So there's going to be an interview with Marcus Conte interviewing him on a one. We don't just be a 15 minute interview. We know, I think we know Marcus works at Mercer Way, which is 1166 Avenue in America's or Fifth Avenue in New York. Don't know what they do. It sounds kind of like uh, insurance brokerage, like agency. He also works for this company called Leading Way. Uh, and that's out in uh, Los Angeles area, I think. And Leading Way seems to be a company that uh, does payday loans type of thing. Um, you know, if you're short on cash, same sort of thing probably as Law Cash did, that, that Shields guy did, loan money in order to get you through a, a tough spot. Uh, he also seems to be somehow co connected to Stanford University um, in the biology department. I'm not sure if that's his sister or, or whatnot. So Marcus gets around New York. Um, I think he's from Larchmont, New York, and he's also Kind of got some connection to Bethesda, Maryland. Um, there's a lot of, there's a real interesting guy who lives in the same building in Bethesda, Maryland with the uh, uh, with the World Bank. Uh, he's key IMF investor for the World Bank. So it's just, just this odd kind of, and plus he tells me he's kind of like a jet setter racing around with these different bands. So it's interesting to see how this, would, uh, would this materialize? It kind of sounds like a jet set insider uh, setup for the, for the, uh, interview. Uh, how did he get this? Uh, how did him, how did Marcus Conte with uh, 150 subscribers or 300 subscribers get the Imran Awan interview? You know, kind of jet setting all around. He tells me he's like to be a manager for all these bands, top bands. So how does that work? Um, he knows this guy named Chris Cornell. I don't know if it's, it's, I know it's not the same guy who died last year, the famous Chris Cornell, I don't think. Uh, I think it's, I think it's going to happen. I think it's going to happen. I knew Marcus was not, I, I knew, Knew that was born of the sports for a company called Mercer. And is it tied to the Mercer that was working with uh, Mercer Investments that was working with Steve Bannon? I don't know. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, you probably have all heard the news now. Imran Awan is going to be interviewed today at 2.30. Right? And all these theories start to fucking come out, huh? George Webb. The mastermind. And then, and then we find out that it's... It is Emron, but is it? I don't know. Nobody knows. Watch the interview and you'll find out. Uh, so, but it's, but, but the conspiracy. Oh my God, it's fucking Imran Awan. Oh my God, well, I was right. So George is a, is a guppy in the sea of life, right? He throws out 10 pieces of garbage. And when one sticks, he rolls the tape back and talks about the one that stuck. That's an old magician trick. That's called cold reading in the psychic world. You tell somebody 10 things about themselves and the one that hits, that's the one you move in, in for. See, we know that, George. It's cold. That's all, that's all cold reading shit. But who did it? See, I, I interviewed, I talked to George. And I, again, I'm not, I'm not there yet. I'm not, I'm not fully there yet. Okay. But we gave him a lot of his the questions that he wants to talk about. And then we asked him about Robin and we found out some stuff, right? For whatever it's worth. But Robin, Robin Gritz. Wow. See, there's motive for connected people to get very, very close. How do you get close? Make friends with George. Make friends with Jason. Make friends with Thomas. I'm an expert. 
Enter, expert. Oh, look, we have an expert. Okay. And then what did she do? She became friends with Jenny. Next of kin. Ooh. Next of kin. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting triangle. Did George... Was George the celebrity YouTube brilliant mind sleeping with Robin Gritz too? And Jenny? And Deep NSA? Is it a love tri triangle? George Webb was on motive for George. George is on online saying, we made $17,000 in the wake of Jenny Moore's memorial on YouTube. $17,000. Okay, okay. But that's not the real motive. Is it? I don't know. But, Motive to to stop a story that could destroy the Clintons. Destroy the fucking Clintons. Goes away. Gets cremated early. Very, very circumstantial evidence surrounding the family. The the why did the, the brilliant investigative mind of George Webb suddenly stop investigating the, the, the death of his own friend? In fact, why did he make up stories that contradict the idea that Jenny was killed? Because maybe he realized he was played. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.